Hey guys, welcome back. So in our previous video, we talked about arrays and the functions that are available in PyScript to add elements to the array. So in this video, this is the part two video for arrays functions. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can find out the maximum and minimum inside the array. So if I just go towards our code here, as you can see, it, this is the code that we used for our previous lesson. So this code plots an array or gives us an array with these values. So in this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven elements inside this array, each responding to different index. Uh, the index would be here zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these are the elements in the array. Now, if we want to find out which element is the maximum, so for this array, since there are only seven elements, we can do this manually. But when there are hundreds of elements inside an array, this becomes very cumbersome. So in order to tackle that, the PyScript has a built-in function that is array.max and array.minimum that we can use in order to find the maximum and minimum value inside the array. So let me just go ahead and max. Let me just define a variable that is data max and here i'm gonna use the function array dot max and this function only finds or only demands two arguments and those arguments are id and nth now nth argument in this function is till which index do you want to calculate the maximum value okay but in our case we want to find out the value of maximum element in the whole array so we're gonna just leave this argument and only going we're only going to use the id argument so id in our case is the bar ranges so now this data max contains the maximum element from this array because this bar ranges is defined here and we have passed on these values to this bar ranges array so here this bar ranges is assigned here to this data max and array dot max function is used and similarly let me just go ahead and define another function that is array dot min data min and we're going to use array dot min now this function finds the minimum value inside the array and i'm going to do the same thing bar ranges and here now if we want to plot this element onto this label here we can just concatenate this here so i'm gonna go ahead and to this text and here i'm gonna add plus and use the strings so by using the forward slash n we give it a space of two lines and then i say array max okay and then i'm again going to give us space and here we can pass on the str so let me just go to the next line here because this label is getting a bit long so here let me just break this here okay so now here i'm gonna do str dot two string and I'm going to assign it or pass on the data max variable so this is the maximum value and again let me go ahead and also show the minimum so in order to do that i'm gonna again use the plus and string for slash n for slash n and array min and again for slash n and so plus and str dot to string to string and i'm gonna pass on data min variable so now when we save it and it will plot this array this bar range is array and then also it shows us the array maximum the maximum element inside this array and also the minimum element so if we look manually the maximum element inside this array is nine and the minimum element inside this array is three. So this is how you can use the 
array max and minimum functions in the arrays. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.